Hello everyone and welcome back to some more tutorial for Crusader Kings 2. So I've been showing how to you know, start off as just a little minor guy and slowly rise to the very heights of power. I'm going to talk a little bit now I think actually about where you're already serving another ruler. So this is our, our basic map right for starting a game. I'm going with the uh, the 1081 start date and I'm uh, to make it nice easy. Here's the Duke's map. So I'm gonna pick. Uh, here we are. Let's be Duke Guilhem the Fourth, the Fourth, sorry, of Tulos. He's of the de Tulos family. He serves King Philip of France, who's my liege. And I'll get to cover a few things uh, while being part of another nation. So. Uh, under the normal starting map, uh, or the, well, the independent realms map, right? Obviously you can't see my territory, but uh, this dark border denotes the uh, internal divisions within the kingdom. So first of all, let's check it ourselves. Alright, so we, we're, we're not doing too bad. We got a, we got a kid, our daughter. Uh, she's terrible. Oh god, is she terrible. I really need a son. I am single. I should fix that. So let's do that right now, actually. Here we are. Um, actually. So obviously our goal is we're going to want to become the King of France at some point. Here we are. Uh, we will marry the, the, king's, the king's sister. Uh, that seems... Uh, yeah, that, that should... That should uh, serve us well in uh, gaining, uh, working our way towards something at least. All right, so get ourselves married to the, or we could get married to a princess of England, who is who is in charge of England. All right, so the second, his second daughter. Ah, we'll stick to France. We're not, we're not interested in those foreign barbarian courts. So. Married, Mary, the Princess of France. The Princess of France! Well, at least we'll get our kid educated. What culture are we? Occitan, alright. It, it is a Latin culture, so we're not even of the same culture as our king, I don't think. No, he's a Frank. Ah, same culture group, though, Latin. That's going for us. Uh, we'll take the prestige out of that, I think, and uh, we should we should get an ambition going right away. Uh, we might we'll we'll aim for prestige. We might be able to achieve that. Let's see if I can find that. This is an option. Become king of Aquitaine. Stewardship, Marshal, son, Paragon. Nope. Well then, let's stick to uh. And improve our learning. So, first of all, let's check out the laws in the kingdom. Well, there's the duchy. We have Gavelkind, but we're going to want to change that to primogeniture. Uh, which we can't do under the current system. Because of, um... Because the king of France has lift... Has, it does not have the right level of authority. So let's look at the Kingdom of France. Limited crown laws. All right. Well, well, what's this? He would like to personally educate our daughter, so that she turns out to be uh, picks up his culture. I don't mind converting culture at this point. It'll, uh, I think, it'll work as well. So we'll let we'll let the, our brother-in-law, the king, take care of our daughter. That's acceptable. Um, so as you can see, here's our, our personal liege. We have a pen, or, yeah, we have a, his opinion of us is lower because we have this whole different culture thing. Uh, here's the map. France is split between these two cultures, Ossetan and Frankish. Got that crusade stuff going on. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy orders. So, now that we're part of... Uh, oh yeah, here we are. So we could convert to our lieges culture. We would become Frankish. But I don't think we need to worry about that quite yet. Um, here's another thing we could do. So we have these various people serving us. And we can start plots to try and take their land. Uh, we can also do plots to some murder some people. And we can do some plots to see various dukes weakened. Uh, this particular gentleman rules three separate duchies, a very powerful figure. Um, furthermore, as we are a vassal, we could start a faction. We could aim things for having Gavelkind in France, independence, um, <coughs> trying to make one of the other people king, or crown authority, you know, all these various things. Uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that quite yet. We'll, we'll see what pops up. But for the moment, for the moment, we're gonna be loyal. Now, uh, blah blah. So, the Grand Master of the Knights Templar, who has a holding in Ulster, would also like holdings in my capital. So I will gain a bunch of piety and money if I do that, or I can refuse. Hmm. I want those things myself. So I'm going to say no. This is going to make me a little unpopular, though. In fact, now I've got some factions within my own area. So let's do what we can now to, to fix things. Make sure the Pope likes us. We'll uh, try and get some tech out of Paris. Collecting taxes. Trading soldiers. And... Oh, my brother, eh? Oh, let's bribe him. Hopefully we can... We can get him to uh, give up his plan of rebellion. Yeah, that worked. Oh, the group said for crease. Well, of course, we will, uh, as you saw with my last game. So I can take 1,300 soldiers. Oh, that'll be enough. Because, of course, I want to do what I can to uh, improve my standing. Um, yeah, we'll support the church. Crusade for Greece. So we're going to sail over here. The Pope says, sure, buddy. Uh, apparently we're... Oh, uh... So the... Oh. So, we didn't get a pop-up for this. But uh, the the French... Uh, our our brother-in-law, the King of France, and the Kaiser of the Holy Roman Empire, they're at war over a territory. Something to note. Um, you don't have to get involved in these things. You can just kind of let your arm, your armies and their armies do their thing. Um, but the Holy Roman Empire's soldiers will all be um, hostile to you, but as noted by this red. So uh, be careful, because if you get too close, they will stab you in the face, and it will hurt. So let's. Uh we want to be there, of course. I'll put my brother there. And him. There we are. So we're just gonna we're just gonna, of course, you know, do what we did last time. Show up long enough to get the. Uh, there we are. Get the prestige of piety. Become a crusader. And then get the hell out of dodge. Because I suspect we'll get horribly murdered. He's in Narbonne.
So, yada yada yada. Excellent. So, all right. Hmm. So now I'm going to show you uh, one of these things. We're gonna we're gonna start a plot. A plot to take over Narbonne. Alright, we got some people joining us. Uh, for certain plots, you need to have a certain level of, uh... A certain level of, uh... What's it? A certain level of plot power. That's the word I was looking for. Before you can make it happen. In this case, I'm gonna want to, uh, get certain of my vassals. Uh, they don't like me enough. Alright, well, then we can wait. Well, uh, we have a request. So, um, the king's brother has invited us to help him murder the heir to the French throne. You may ask why he's wanting to kill that person. Well, let's take a look. Ah, the heir to the French throne, Prince Louis of France, will bring him one step closer to becoming king. You see, vas vassals don't like it when you have a daughter as your prospective um, heir. So if he dies, she becomes the king's heir. Which means all the vassals are going to get a penalty, uh, a relations penalty with him of 10 points. Thus making it more likely he could indeed gather a faction that would try to put him on the throne. It's very cunning, but we will decline his offer. We'll stay loyal to our king. All right, there's a army of the Holy Roman Empire showing up in our territory. Oh, sieging down our lands. Sadly, I don't think our king will win this war. Where's the French? Ar Where's our French army? Oh, he lost. All right. On the other hand, the crusade's going well. Now, what I would like to have happen is to get uh, get a son at this point, because it would be quite viable for us to orchestrate the marriage of our our son to a daughter. In which case, we could do something similar. We plot to make sure that the per Ah, there we go. This may be, indeed, the very scheme we want to have happen. In fact, at this point, I might take a daughter or a son. There's a rebellion. Folks has led a rebellion against the king. Um, so, one of our dukes has is trying to fabricate a claim. So, I can try to imprison him. If I fail, he might declare war. Um, so, let us... Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to gather all of my armies. Head to his territory. There we are. And then I'll try to arrest him. Or imprison him, sorry. Hopefully he'll rebel, and my soldiers will be in place, ready to siege him down and destroy him. Oh, oh well. Either way, now that he's in prison, he can't plot against me. And no one is against that plot. Uh, oh, there we are. So we have had a daughter. Anna. That's wonderful. Uh, my brother wants to join the Knight's Hospitaller. Even though it will forever disinherit him. Well, I am happy with that. Gets my piety back up, and I don't have to worry about succession issues with him. Ah, oh, so. Catholic Crusade 1, Pope Gregory 1. The Merchants of Pisa have won it. So, there we go. Pisa took the lands in Greece. They're a merchant republic. I will cover them soon. Write another invite to a plot. I'm going to join this plot, actually. 
because I would like it for my oh, oh damn it I, yeah I think I don't think I'll I'll accept this plot one less one less king is or one less prince is always always nice so we're backing a plot to kill some guy kill the prince of France horribly terrible of us really but uh, what can you do so yes, um, we want a son. Ah, oh, we're gonna have him die. So, there are a few ways to go about this. We would like it if our heir could marry one of the princes. Possible we could have her, have her marry that prince. Well, this might take a cunning scheme. Oh, all right. Another of my vassals is up to something. There we are. Well, we're going to do the same thing again. March all our soldiers here. And we'll try to imprison him. So you see, if I just wanted to revoke his title right now, because I have no excuse for it, um, it'll upset all my other vassals. Just gonna try and imprison him. Oh, he's raised his flag in rebellion. That's a shame. Especially since we're right there already. Now, once we defeat him, we will have an excuse. Now, oh, here we are. Uh, we can revoke... Th we have gotten enough power to revoke the county. He's a prisoner, so I don't believe he'll have a ch Oh, no. He ah, alright. So, he's a young boy. So, here we are. Try to revoke it. Ah, where it is, I guess. Alright, we'll have to fix... Apparently, the young boy decided he did not like the idea of just uh, surrendering to us. So, that's fine. We can fix this. Ah, uh, another faction... Chaplain. So here we are. He's gonna offer. He's gonna surrender. So I will get to imprison him. And now, because he is a, re a rebel, he has he raised his arms against his liege. He's a traitor. I can revoke his territory without upsetting anyone. All right. We really do want a son, though. Um, yeah. So we're, a, a plot is being made on the one on the king's eldest son. Oh, the eldest son has died. A terrible tragedy. Died under suspicious circumstances. All right. So you may ask yourself, well, how will I become king? Well, there's a few different schemes we can use. There's gathering enough internal power. Um, here we are. Our daughter's 16. So. Hmm. It is unlikely that our daughter will be able to nicely match up to one of the kings. So instead we will get her married to... There we are. A Scottish prince, perhaps. That'll be worth some good old respect for, for our liege. We still would prefer a son, because at the moment, our lands will be split up between uh, the two daughters. My wife is a bit... 
Uh, well, she's attractive, and we do want a son, so we will sleep around. Alright, so, I'm gonna try and take them out now. Perfect, 100%. Enforce demands. We succeed in the plot and revoke the, the county. So, so we now control three lands directly. A good little boost for us. <clears throat> I could also be doing things like sending my vassals over to, or my uh, my chancellor to fabricate claims over here. You can, of course, start your own wars outside of your lands. That's always a way to expand. We're focused on internal matters. Excellent. We will uh, we'll get try the hedonism route. We do like that fertility. Oh. Right. Well, let's go, let's do a pilgrimage. I yeah, we'll do a pilgrimage. We can we can afford it. We'll go to uh, one of the holy sites in the west in the tomb of Saint James in Santiago. All right, that sounds nice. And yeah, we will. Uh, what do we want to do? We'll do that. Interesting. We're at a, we're at an inn, reflecting on the journey. Lots of interesting stuff could happen. Or I have a nap. I will. I'll let my mind wander. I became a poet. All right. Uh, we brought a seashell from their home. All right. Praise God! Oh, I gained zealous. So I'm a very religious fellow. Hmm, looks like there's a peasant revolt. Yep, a couple peasant revolts going on. So, our son-in-law is way down the line of succession, sadly. If like seven more king guys die, he'd become king, so not going to happen, really. Stressed out. That's never good. So yes, the ideally we we're, we're aiming to become the king, and there's there's a few different routes. The main route, of course, will be finding a um, finding a particular heir we can marry our our family our our heir to, or one of his family we can marry our heir to, thus eventually set up setting up a child. Or grandchild who will become king. I'll hang out with my lover, becoming lustful. Um, yep, I'm okay with my kids no longer being uh, Ossetan. Um, another way you can become a king is uh, if I were to scheme. Oh, there's a plot to kill my my daughter. Interesting. Well, let's put an end to that plot. Same way as always. March our armies into into one place. So, prison. Since we know that he's the leader of plot, no one objects to us imprisoning him. He's now safely locked away in my dungeon. Uh, which means he will not be able to plot against me. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to plot another revoking. This should be easy to do. Ah, here we are. The king has increased crown authority to medium. I will support this. Um, 
He's gotta gather up support to change the crown laws. So there we are. I will have to release him. Let's, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to ransom him. I'm gonna move my armies to his territory. I'm gonna ransom him so I get money for letting him go. And then I'm going to remove him from... Oh. He died, never mind. But now I can take it from his son. So let's once again gather up those armies. Oh, my wife's pregnant. Good, good. I would like another kid. A son would be ideal. War it is. I probably could have not bothered since I'm at my max domain size, but whatever. There we are. We have a son who is now our heir. If we tried to plot to have her murdered, eh. No, we would want her alive to engage her to our son. Eh, it would get complicated. Uh, it would be nice if he could have another daughter right quick. From his hunchback, stuttering wife? Interesting. Oh. My daughter died. Oh, pneumonia. It wasn't even a murder plot. That's tragic. I should have tried to improve my stewardship. Oh well. Uh, yeah, this is the start. So I think I've covered. I mean, I'm not, if if people want, please by all means mention in the comments. Do you want to see me actually orchestrate taking over the kingdom? Um, I've shown a few different ways. Um, if you had a claim, let's see if there's a plot. No. Um. Sometimes you can orchestrate claims. Um, if I were a close, uh, if I had some cl uh, some claims already, I could start a plot to put me on the throne. Various things you can do. Um, usually, the marriage, finding the right person to marry, and murdering everyone else is the way you want to go. So, say for example, I was quickly going to touch on this before I call it a night. Let's say these, the son was actually, like, a daughter in this case. And we we could have... Or they were both daughters. Kill one the daughter, get an engagement to the other. Now, depending on how you do it, you got to be careful. Because uh, the king might not let certain marriages happen based on um, how how close the they are to becoming the next in line of succession. Um, if he had just one daughter, there's no way he's going to let her just have a normal marriage. He's going to make sure his line continues. So what you might have to do is wait for them to get married, and then invite them to your court. Murder their spouse. That's one way. <coughs> Another is, uh... Yeah, you just gotta wait, and you might have to bloody your hands quite a bit, but, uh... Yeah, so there's, uh, things you can do. You, got, you can involve yourselves with factions, like I said. Seniority, succession in France or Aquitaine. Lowering crown authority, fight for dependence, putting some other guy on the throne, right? All that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. 
So that's that for now, and I'll uh, touch on more things next time. Maybe a different, maybe one of the Muslim kingdoms or something. See you all soon.